Professor Black Ops, you see it. Let's get it. <laughs> Microsoft Exchange, another zero day attack. Come on, Microsoft, let's get a little better. Once again, super quick article. New Microsoft Exchange zero day actively exploited in the attack. So you need to be looking in your logs <laughs> or have something looking in your logs for those attacks. Third actors have explored yet to be disclosed Microsoft Exchange zero day bugs. Allowing for remote code execution, according to claims made by security researchers uh, in the Vietnamese cybersecurity outfit, GC, I'm sorry, GTCC, who first spotted it uh, and the reported attacks. Friday morning, Microsoft confirmed the two zero day vulnerabilities as being used in attacks and are traced to CVE 2022-41040 and 41082. They also confirmed that GCC mitigation shared Belayar can be successfully used in blocking the attack. So that's what I really like about uh, super professional cybersecurity firms. A lot of times when they find the vulnerability, they're going to give you a way to block it or mitigate that particular attack. So let's see what's going on with it. The attacks are chaining the pair of zero days to deploy a Chinese chopper web shell on compromised servers for persistence and data threat, as well as move laterally to other systems on the victim network. Well, I got to read that again. I like that. Zero day to deploy the Chinese chopper <laughs> web shells, compromising the service for persistence and data threats. Persistence means that attack just gets to stay on that particular server, stays there, and gets to move laterally to other servers, right? So now you have more than one effective server. And two is they could be doing other attacks and other and other uh, attacks on different servers using different vulnerabilities. The vulnerabilities turn out to be so critical that it allows the attackers to do an RCE on the compromised system. Suspect that a Chinese threat group is responsible for the attacks based on the web shell's code page, a Microsoft character encoding for simplified Chinese. <clears throat> so yeah, a lot of times when you get attacked by a foreign nation, <laughs> they're trying to get in and out. So they actually change your character set, which is what the encoding is. So when you start looking at logs, you'd be like, what is that? It's like Chinese, Iranian, just different languages because the attacker is going to make it easier for them. <clears throat> the user agents used to install the web shell also belong to Answord, a Chinese-based open source website admin tool with web shell management support. Microsoft hasn't disclosed any uh, information regarding the two security flaws so far. It is yet to assign a CVID to track them. The researchers reported the security vulnerability to Microsoft privately three weeks ago through the Zero Day Initiative, which tracks the CDIN uh, 1833 and 1802 after, it's after it's the analysts uh, validated the issue. GTCS submitted the vulnerability to Zero Day Initiative right away to work with Microsoft so that a patch could be prepared as soon as possible. CDI verified that and acknowledged the two bugs whose CVS scores were 8.8, .8, the maximum is 10, so 8.8 .8 is pretty high, and 6.3. Trend Micro, Micro released a security advisory Thursday confirming that they have submitted the two new Microsoft Exchange Day vulnerabilities discovered by GTCS to Microsoft. I wonder if it's a foreign company. That's why uh, Micro, Micro uh, Tail did it. The company also already added detections for these, these zero days in the IPS, intrusion protective systems, and in their platform and into their TBS products. Uh, this was the tweet. These reports emerging that a zero day exists in Microsoft Exchange and is being actively exploited in the wild. I can confirm a significant number of Exchange services have been backdoored, including a honeypot. Wow. The reason they could do that is Mark Hotel, and when you get to uh, Mandy and the Big Boys, they have so many customers using their service. So when a known bug hits, all their tel telemetry or a request goes back to their service and they can go through and correlate all that between their their uh, customers, right? So that's one reason you use firms like this and bigger firms because if they find something in a while, they push it down to their uh, antivirus and malware viruses on their machines. But two is they can see who's been hit across the nation and even worldwide. 
they can actually watch on dashboards as certain uh, vulnerabilities and attack and just start uh, waving across the globe. GTC has also released very few details regarding the zero day bug. Still, as researchers did reveal the request using the exploit chain are similar to those using the attacks and target by the proxy shell vulnerability. That was a couple weeks ago. Uh, never ending. The exploits works in two stages. Request with the format of proxy shell. So you see it right there. The use of link above is to access the component in the back end where the RC could be implemented. The version numbers of the staying service show that the latest patch update had already installed. So the, expo so the exploitation using proxy shell vulnerability was impossible, the researcher says. Temporary mitigation available until Microsoft releases a security patch to address these two zero days. Uh, shared temporary mitigation that will block attacks by adding a new ISI server rule using the, Euro the URL rewrite rule. So that's it in the auto, in auto discovery in front end, select URL rewrite tab, add the string auto discovery .json to the URL. We recommend all organization and enterprises around the world that are using Microsoft Exchange service to check, review and apply the above temporary remedy as soon as possible to, to avoid potential serious, serious damage. Admins who want to check if their exchange servers are already been compromised and exploit can run the PowerShell command to scan the IS logs for indicators of compromise. So as you're looking in the logs and you're looking for a PowerShell auto discovery JSON, like 200 usually means that that request was good. Microsoft and CDI spokesmen were not immediately available for comment when contacted by Bluetooth computers today. This is a developing story. So once again, Microsoft Exchange has a zero day attack. Look at the article. It had the mitigations control in there to block it and uh, make sure when that security patch comes out, the first one to get it. Professor Black Ops, <laughs> please subscribe.